The discussion in this video covers supported scaffolds, which are platforms that are supported by rigid means. When we look at the percentage of construction deaths that are due to electrocution, you will see that about 7% of the fatalities are due to electrocution while people are on or erecting scaffolds. The base plate provides stability for the scaffold, and it spreads the leg load. In many instances, we will need to place a sill between the base plate and the foundation to help spread the leg load. So, what is a sill? When do we need a sill? The most common practice is to connect the scaffold to another structure. For example, the scaffold can be tied to the walls, columns, or beams of a building. Ties must be able to handle compressive and tensile loads, in other words, push and pull forces. The top tie of the completed scaffold shall be placed no further than the 4 to 1 height from the top of the scaffold. In most cases, the guardrail system will be supplied by the scaffold manufacturer. In other cases, custom guardrails can be utilized. If you're on a job where federal OSHA applies, the top rail of the guardrail system can never deflect lower than the 38-inch minimum required distance between the platform and the top rail. All scaffold platforms must be planked between the front uprights and the guardrail system. You can cover the space with plywood, for example, if you think the space is too big. We also want to make sure that the planks overlap that they extend far enough on top of one another so that there's no hazard. Plank overlap is when the end of one plank is laid on top of the end of an adjacent plank. While you can never have too much overlap, you can have too little. The other type of portable ladder that may be used to access scaffolds is the extension ladder. You need to make sure the top of the ladder extends at least three feet above the platform, so you have something to hang on to while you get off the ladder onto the platform. A hook-on and detachable ladders are other common types of ladders that are frequently used with supported scaffolds. The ladders are installed in a vertical position and attached to the scaffold with hooks and brackets. The ladder must be continuous between rest platforms, which must occur evenly between the ground level or ladder bottom and the top platform. In other words, you should see a place for you to get off at least every 35 feet to rest. For example, make sure that there isn't a pipe or another obstruction that you might hit your head on while you're climbing. The first step can never be more than 24 inches above or below the platform you are accessing it from. The next type of access that we have is the integral prefabricated scaffold access frame. Within the frame, there are equally spaced rungs. You may find that the rungs between frames may be a little more than 12 inches apart, but never more than 16.75 inches apart. 